Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're playing in a lace wig courtesy of Wiggins Hair. So they give you some goodies, they give you your elastic, they give you your wig caps, they even give you a dust bag to keep your wig nice and safe and dust free. This is the wig here, obviously, and this is a body wave 13 by 6 lace wig in the length 18 inches and it is 180% density. Now this wig really does body wave. Body wave does not always body wave and I am pleased to say you'll see in just a moment we're going to wear it in its natural state with just a little bit of serum. But before we get to that we're going to go ahead and slay the wig. One thing I often forget to do is really lay down my own edges that should always be step one making sure those sideburns and all that are laid down and then this is what the wig looks like straight on your head you can clearly see that it is pre-plucked specifically in the center more than on the sides but they definitely did a great job in the center I just added a little bit of my shapers and um, to the hairline and I'm going in with the electric hot comb to kind of press it out now typically or in the past I used to like wet the hairline down before I tweeze nowadays I like to press it out first you don't have to use the shapers but this helps me to see exactly where all the hairs are kind of cancel out the frizz so that whenever I go in and tweeze I can see exactly what I'm doing what needs to be done because sometimes when it's in its very natural state you really can't tell now you can see how uniform the hairline is even though it's nicely pre-plugged it is very very uniform it can come off a little bit boxy so we're kind of going to break that up a little bit be sure that if you're tweezing yourself that your tweezers are nice and sharp don't use dull tweezers i've been guilty of this a many a many a many a times and i've definitely learned from my mistakes that sharp tweezers get the job done neater more efficient faster and you can already see how it's kind of breaking it up a little bit it doesn't necessarily need to be more tweeze like more so in the center um but you just want to break up that boxiness if that makes sense So I think we did a fairly good job. I don't want it to be bald. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pin the hair all the way back. I still at this point had not decided what I wanted to do with this hair. Um, the knots did not come bleached and I did have reservations about that just because I'm so used to bleaching my knots nowadays. So here I am just cutting off the excess lace. Um, I feel like I did a great job. You guys can see how boxy it was before and now. I don't think I did like a huge transformation as far as the hairline goes um, in tweezing but I just literally just broke up the boxiness we are using a eyebrow razor as usual to go ahead and cut off all the excess lace and you guys can see it's not um like necessarily perfect or like it doesn't match my skin but to know that the knots are not bleached and i haven't tinted the lace um i think it looks pretty decent so here's the tragedy I'm going in with my adhesive of choice. This is a holding spray that I'm pretty much using as adhesive and I am applying it with a popsicle stick. I've just been trying different techniques here and there even if it seems a little bit silly. 
You guys know if you've watched my previous tutorials how messy like the got to be glued and all of those adhesives can be when uh, you know spraying it on your hairline and how it kind of drips and runs a little bit. So I'm just thinking of different ways to apply it to be more accurate. Maybe I should watch some tutorials and see what some of my other fellow creators do. But for me I was like I got some popsicle sticks right here in the drawer let's just try it. And honestly I'm not mad at it. It's kind of weird because you're like spraying the adhesive on a popsicle stick but again if you've ever seen me spray like the got to be glued on my hairline it's just inevitable that it gets a little bit messy and when it comes to the completed result or you know how your stall install comes out at the very end sometimes it kind of hinders it from looking flawless and perfect if the spray is like everywhere hopefully that makes sense And this here is the world's greatest blow dryer, ladies and gentlemen. My husband bought me this Dyson and I have been so obsessed. Like, I don't blow dry my daughter's hair yet, but I'm like, um, who needs a blow dry? I absolutely love it. You would think for the price it wouldn't be worth it or that, you know, you wouldn't see a huge difference. I see a completely night and day difference of like even just the simplest things like bonding my wigs down like this step here. It just makes... I don't know it just melts the wig to my head so much different so much more than the blow dryer I've literally been using since the beginning of my YouTube channel also I was gonna mention and I got sidetracked a few minutes ago but right before I went ahead and bonded the wig down um, my plan originally was to add a lace tint to make this wig blend with my skin perfectly. Somehow, some way, I started bonding the wig, wig down and completely forgot. And uh, I think it wouldn't have been a good idea to like spray lace tint like on a wig that's bonded down. So I just left it alone. At the very end, I'll go in and blend it using like concealer and foundation, and you'll see that in just a moment. We are opting for a side part, so I'm going in and just perfecting that. Again, I did not bleach the knots, so if you kind of look a little bit closer, you can see those black dots. But again, we're going to do our best to make it look snatched. So Arrogant Tay, of course, is one of my favorite hairstylists, if not my favorite hairstylist, period. I love the way he styles his wigs um, and he installs. It always looks so amazing and flawless. I've been seeing him do a lot of the side part on like Ari and other influencers. And I love the way he does like the little swoop like right around the temple and then he'll do like a little swoop right there um where the side barn is and it just looks so good so this was my first time attempting to kind of recreate that mine is not of course as flawless as his but of course practice makes perfect and i think it came out pretty decent when it was all said and done
So going along with the Eric and Tay theme, I decided to go ahead and instead of my normal like feather bang that I typically will do, I kind of flip it back and all of that. I decided to bring the hair on the opposite side of the swoop, the bigger side of the swoop completely forward and I absolutely love the way it came out this is a style I typically used to wear when I used to wear my natural hair way 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 back in the day and so I'm kind of bringing it back I have realized that I haven't really done this style with my um like wig installs so this actually came out really fun and I absolutely loved it and you'll definitely see me execute this style much more on the channel but I really wanted the um lace area the crown of my head to lay super flat so I kind of just went in and set I used a little bit of hairspray to cancel out any frizz and make sure it laid down in the direction I wanted to go and of course I pressed it out with the electric hot comb and it came out amazing so try if you kind of feel like your installs or like when you press your hair it's a little bit more lumpy and not as flat try to you know press it out in smaller sections using product if needed Hopefully you guys can see how flat this came out. It definitely helped to go ahead and do it in smaller sections. You can also help by adding a scarf and letting that sucker lay down. I'm going to go ahead and do sideburns on the opposite side. Even though I'm pretty much going to be covering that side up, typically just out of habit I'll like go in and like tuck the hair behind my ear because again I have kids. So usually like during the daytime you got to tuck the hair back and get it out of my way so that I can, you know nurse my little baby and just chase after the bigger babies so i wanted to make sure that everything looked good even you know though it wouldn't be showing as much and i'm pretty pleased with the way this looks at this point so i'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer this one is very similar to my complexion and this is the rihanna uh, fenty concealer i forget what shade i have i want to say it's 420 it could be darker but i'll definitely have it linked in the description box of course along with everything else i use it wasn't perfect but again i wanted to make sure that i added a little bit of coverage since i did not bleach the knots in this one but be sure to add lace tint if you do not want to use like a concealer or something like that So I went ahead and left the scarf on for about 20 minutes. I kind of went ahead and nursed the baby and did some other stuff. Now we are back and you guys can see. Um, I love to go in and pretty much mold my baby hair how I want it to go. Add a scarf and let it set and then come back and kind of comb it out and reshape it. And to me this always looks a little bit better and a lot more natural. Love the way that came out. Now we're going to work on the length of the hair. As I told you before this is a body wave and it is beautiful. The texture is absolutely beautiful. Even though we pretty much straightened out the crown of the hair I felt like the curls or the wave of the the hair was beautiful and it still would look amazing you know at first I was gonna wand curl it and I was like you know what let's let this body wave a body wave let's let it do what it do and see what happens so I just added a pump of serum and this is an OG favorite of course linked in the description box and I kind of just rubbed it in at first it feels like way you added way too much but you'll see in the end that it's gonna set and absorb it to the hair it adds a nice shiny effect if you kind of want a wet look 
um, you can definitely use less but again it absorbs really nicely so you know once the hair sets and all of that it's gonna look super perfect but I kind of just wanted to cancel out a lot of the frizz that was going on and just let the hair do what it do and I'm absolutely pleased if you're looking for body wave hair that will keep the texture this is definitely it it definitely has a lot of body wave um, or wave itself and you know bounce and all of that so if you're gonna go ahead and curl it and all of that it definitely will hold a curl um, amazing and it does have a nice rich natural brown texture but above all i hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial be sure to check out wiggins all information is listed in the description box thank you guys so much for watching also don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video for more and turn on your post notifications for more as always i'll see you in the next one smooches